Hey, in this video, I'm going to teach you what's radian. When angle is measured, I'm sorry, when angle is measured as the ratio between arc length and the radius of the circle, it is said to have x radians. Now where x is equal to the ratio of the arc length and radius. Now, now angle theta is equal to x radians. Now we'll, sub now we'll substitute the x with arc divided by radius. Which will give us arc divided by radius radians. Now I know it sounds awkward but uh, that's the actual formula and the meaning of it. Now let me draw a unique circle. It's uh, having a radius r and the arc length is also r. Let the angle between them be theta. Now theta is equal to radius, so I'm sorry, theta is equal to arc by radius radians. r and r will cancel which will give us one radians. Now let me draw another unique circle here. Let it have a radius of r and this time we will take the whole complete angle means theta here will be is equal to 360 degree. So the radius will be r and the arc length will be 2 pi r. So let me write it here. Theta is equal to r divided by radius. Radians. So we will get 2 pi r divided by sorry divided by r radians, which will result in 2 pi radians. It takes time to write. Uh -huh. yeah. It's equal to 360 degrees. It's a complete angle. It's some um, um, basic concept which everyone knows. Now we can find that that theta is equal to 360 degree is equal to 2 pi radians. So let us write that equation here. Now we can simplify both the sides by dividing it by 2. We get pi radians is equal to 180 degree. So this is one of the most basic concepts of radians that pi radians is equal to 180 degree. Now let me write that in a box. Now we can derive many formula from that. Let me get the blackboard properly um, so pi radians is equal to 180 degree now when we divide both sides by pi we get 1 radian is equal to 180 degrees divided by pi and this is also a very handy formula which comes from conversion from degrees to radians now we can get another corollary from it which gives us pi radian is equal to 180 degree so we can divide both the sides by 180 which will give us that 1 degree is equal to pi over 180 radians